Uh, oh my, I almost hit my head. I hit my head. Ah, ooh, and I now I did. But I'm so excited for this video. Today we're gonna be doing a makeup kit for starters. For starters, for you. So the first makeup product is primer. Honestly, I feel like primer is definitely overlooked. I even sometimes overlook it, but then when I don't use it, I'm like, wait a minute, I wish I used it. Because it makes your makeup last longer. I feel like my foundation and my concealer, whoa, there's like a motorcycle? Or is that a helicopter? Did you hear that? Oh my God, help me. You hear that, right? Oh, uh, anywho. But truly, I've never found a better primer because it's super hydrating, but it doesn't make my skin ever greasy. I feel like it's cool to have like one product that is super like, you know, nice. I love it. I just, I think it's so pretty. Whenever I look at it, it's just like, I don't know, it makes me happy. Like I love the packaging and the product inside is unbelievable. So I really recommend the Undercover Coconut Primer. But if you're like, Fiona, $44 for a primer, it's just like, I don't know, I don't feel like it's worth it. I recommend this for a primer. Elf does an amazing job with their primers. This is the Tone Adjusting Face Primer. It's a six bucks, which is awesome. I just love that. And it's purple, but don't worry, it's not like purple on your face. That'd be really, that'd be really weird. Um, It blends into like this super silky, like primer. It's like when you put like wax paper down like a slide and you like go down and it's like faster. Your makeup applies faster on top of this, if that makes any sense. And I just, I love the feeling of it and I feel like it really does smooth my skin. Then foundation, honestly, I swear by this stuff. This is just like so many like high-end products like the It Cosmetics CC creams. It's like the Fiona Styles foundation. There's like so many like high-end foundations that compare to this, which is awesome because this is from L'Oreal. This is $8.99. This is the Pro Glow Foundation. Why I love this so much is you don't feel it on your skin, you don't have to set it, and it comes in 12 shades, which is awesome because I hate when it's like like zero shades, not zero shades, but like four shades. Oh wow. Ow, I just like poked my head on my light. Um, I'm like a mess right now. Um, this is a messy though. It's like it, I love the applicator. I just love how this applies to my skin and how it lasts. <sighs> this next product is amazing, honestly. I'm like, oh, I can eat it. It's I wonder if it tastes any good because I'm sure it's amazing tasting because it's so amazing for everything. I love it for covering pimples, I love it for under my eye. My, L, my what? My eyes. It just like blurs everything. And I love how many shades it comes in. I love the formula. I love how long it lasts. I just, I love everything about this. And for $24, I totally think it's worth the splurge. It's like the best concealer ever. The next product is from CoverGirl. And wow, I love this stuff. As you can see, I never really hit pan on any powder or any highlight or any anything really. But this I can never set down. Like it blurs my skin. Like I swear when I mattify my skin, it doesn't make me look chalky or powdery or like exaggerate like my peach fuzz. It just like glides on. It feels nice. Like actually like it feels nice and it makes my makeup last long. And it's just, it's like the Giorgio Armani powder because it's so creamy. And for $14.59, <sighs> Next is bronzer. Tati got me onto this. This is amazing. This is the Wet n Wild Press Photo Focus Powder. <sighs> it is so good. Honestly, this is a powder. I don't really like it for like setting my face, but as a bronzer, the darker shades are insane. This is in the shade, I was gonna say hot cocoa. This is, no, golden tan. That's not hot cocoa at all, um, but it kind of reminds me of hot cocoa. Um, but it's in the shade golden tan. It's $4.99. It literally glides on like butter. It just never patches up. It never looks like dirty. You know, like sometimes like a little muddy looking. It just is so beautiful. I love it. Wet n Wild does a great job with their powder products. So for $4.99, next is highlight. I have to have two highlights because truly I couldn't pick one because I love my intense highlights and I love my natural highlights. And just sometimes I like to mix them. So it's like a little best of both worlds. Um, But one of my favorite highlights ever is the Wet n Wild Mega Glow Highlighting Powder in the shade Pearl Delicious Pearls, $4.99, oh my god. Like how is this $4.99? It's like better than Becca highlights. And I feel like it's perfect for everybody because it kind of self adjusts to my skin. Because at first I'm like, ooh, that's gonna be a little too dark. But it's truly like what I'm wearing right now. And I'm just obsessed. I love it. I, I can't get enough. It's like that perfect highlight. Um, but the next highlight is the Essence Pure Nude Highlight for $4.49. Because it just gives you that like pearly natural finish. It's kind of like the Laura Mercier uh, Mac, Ma no, Matte Radiant Highlight, um, but even better. Truly, it's so, so amazing. And I love this for like days. I just want a really natural glow. And oh, I love this. But next. Why am I whispering now? Um, but next is blush. Truly, I feel like you never have enough blushes because when you change up like any color on your face, I feel like you want to change up your blush. So I recommend blush palettes. This is one from, this is what? This is one from Revolution. This is in the shade Hot Spice, $10 for eight blushes. And you just have your mobs, you have your peaches, you have your oranges, you have pinks. your, it's perfect. I love this so much. And it's like never gets patchy, it blends well. 
and I love it. <laughs> but I love all these products. I wouldn't be recommending it to you if they weren't good. Then I'd go into eyeshadow, which truly, I haven't found an amazing drugstore eyeshadow palette, um, but these are amazing shadows. I really recommend the Maybelline single eyeshadows. They're like $4, which is awesome, and I'm just obsessed. There's so many cool shades. I love the shimmer ones. Like, I just love them. I feel like these are just like such insane shadows, and I just, I love it because you can customize your own like look because you can pick out your own shadows. I feel like it's just so fun. <laughs> Mascara. I'm obsessed with this mascara. This is the Lover Lover Girl. What? The, where did I get that from? Um, this is the Cover Girl So Lashy Mascara. And for $11.99, I feel like you can't go wrong with this like individualized volume mascara. Then going into lips, okay. These are the Catsuit Liquid Lipsticks from Wet n Wild. Oh my gosh, these are so amazing. Like everybody's not raving about them. I can't find them anywhere. Well, I can, but like it's only like bright pink, you know what I mean? But honestly, if you can get your hands on Nudie Patootie and Nudist Peach, they are amazing. They are super form- they're super formula. They are like a super formula. Like they're never dry, they never crack, they never flake off, they don't gunk up. You know like how they get like sticky? And they're just awesome. For $4.99, I just- I now understand why people are like, oh, these are amazing because they truly are amazing. And sometimes my lips just get dry, sometimes I want to just spice up my lip products or just make them glossy. This is amazing. This is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Gilded Lip Gloss. It's almost like a clear lip gloss. So it glosses up everything, but it has these like gold flecks in it that are just so mesmerizingly amazing and it tastes really good. It tastes like vanilla. So I just, oh, these together are just like my best friends forever. Strawberry shortcake. Um, but <laughs> I don't know what I'm singing, um, but these are amazing. Um, but next is facial spray or like just setting spray. This is the Milani Make It Last setting spray. This is insane. I was expecting this to be like meh. Like the sprayer, I was the, uh, I was worried it was gonna be as kind of like a crappy sprayer, but do you hear that? It just like miss the air, or not the air, but like miss your face like perfectly. It never like misses a spot, it never like makes your skin like raindroppy. I really like it. The only thing I don't like is the scent. I feel like it's a little like flowery. Once it's on your face, you don't really smell it, but um, I really, really like this. Honestly, the spray on this is insane. And for $11.99, I feel like that's a good deal. It's better than Urban Decay setting sprays, I think. So that was all the makeup. Thank you so much for watching. Honestly, if you are starting out with makeup, hope you enjoy. It's honestly so fun. I love makeup so much. And yes, huggy huggies.